Keeping our CPU cool, I've got a 360mm AIO from Deepcool. It's the Castle 360EX ARGB. Because we're using the cooler on a Z690 motherboard, we're also going to need Deepcool's LGA 1700 mounting bracket. We're now ready to start work on our AIO, and because we have a front mounted bracket, we're going to install it in between the fans and the radiator. So we can line that up into place. And then we can set the three fans that come with the AIO into place. Now importantly, we are going to want to have the AIO at the front as intake, so the fans this way is right. And this is going to be towards the back side of the case, and we want the cables running that way. Then we can use the long radiator screws to go through the fans, through the bracket, and into the radiator. So if the case you're using doesn't come with a bracket like this, um, what you would do is just put the screws straight into the radiator and then it also comes with short radiator screws that you could secure to the bracket. So I'm just going to talk you through all the cables while we're on the flat table. So we've got a 4-pin PWM connector coming from each fan and we've also got an ARGB connector. Now Deepcool do include a little hub for each of these cables. This is the one for the PWM cables and the fans on it are labelled 1 to 4. Now importantly we are going to have to plug one of the fans into one, so you're going to want to go one, two and three. So I'm going to take the PWM cable coming from the first fan, plug it into header number one, the one from our next fan into header number two, and then the one from our third fan into header number three. Then that's going to leave us one four pin PWM connector which we're going to plug into our CPU fan header on the motherboard. We've also got a hub for the ARGB, they're labelled 1 to 5, so we're going to plug our three fans into headers number 1 to 3. So we just need to line them up and push into place. We'll take the one from our second fan and plug it into number 2, and then the one from our third fan into number 3. So coming from the end of the hub we've now got one of these connectors and we've got two options for it. There's a cable that comes with a pack that we can plug into. And then it comes with a standard 3-pin 5-volt ARGB connector on the end for most motherboards. And there's this separate connector here you can use if you've got a gigabyte motherboard. The other option that you have is you can plug this into an ARGB controller that comes with the AIO. So this is the controller here. And all we would need to do is power it with SATA by plugging this end into our SATA cable coming from our power supply. Then you'll be able to press the buttons on the controller to cycle through the various ARGB effects. So the option that I'm going to go for this build is the ARGB cable. So we'll plug it in. So taking a look at the cables coming from our pump, first of all we've got a 3-pin fan connector and it's going to go into our pump header on the motherboard. The other is an ARGB connector, very similar to what we've been getting from our fans, and we're going to plug that into the ARGB hub. There's a space on the end of it. The next thing for us to do is to put the brackets onto our pump which are going to allow us to secure it to the motherboard. Now it's important we use the LGA 1700 brackets for our additional mounting kit and not the ones that come in the box with the cooler. So there's a bit of plastic protection we can take off and again we're going to have to be very careful. There's thermal paste pre-applied to the water block so we need to take care not to damage it. So we can set a bracket into place and then we'll secure it into place with the screws that came with the bracket mounting kit. And then the same thing on the other side. Then we can insert our bracket into the bottom of the case. I'm going for the bottom slot here. I'm going to pass the tubes into the main body of the case, pick them up there, and then push the bracket into place. And that's it locked. So then we can lower our CPU cooler down into place, line it up with the bracket beneath. And then we'll tighten the screws up in turn. You'll notice that before I secured the cooler, the two cables coming from the bottom of the pump I have passed underneath the bracket here and here. So it's just going to keep the cables nice and tidy working up towards the top of the motherboard. So at the top of the motherboard, I'm going to plug our three pin cable into the pump header. And then we'll pass the excess cable through to the back. And our ARGB cable, I'm just going to pass through to the back. 
We've then just got a couple of stickers on the pump to remove. Okay, the next thing to do is pass the cables coming from our fans through to the back of the case. Then the next thing to do is get everything plugged back into the hub just like I showed you on the table. So we've got our three PWM connectors, I'm going to plug them into fan mounting locations 1, 2 and 3. We've then got our four pin PWM connector coming from the hub and we're going to pass it through to the front of the case. Our CPU fan header is just here next to our pump header so we'll get the cable plugged in. Then we've got the RGB hub so we'll get the three fans plugged in to 1, 2 and 3 on it. We've also got the RGB cable coming from our pump and it's going to go into the top of this hub. So this just leaves our 3 pin 5 volt ARGB cable coming from the bottom of the hub and I'm just going to pass this through to the front of the case and get it plugged into the ARGB header down at the bottom of the motherboard. So taking a look at the fans that we have got installed, we've got our CPU fans which are the fans on the radiator. They're currently running in PWM mode, taking the temperature off the CPU and running in smart fan mode which is just the way I want them to. If we go over to our pump, um, our pump is currently running in PWM mode. It only has a three pin connector, so it should be in DC mode. And I normally don't run the smart fan mode on the pump. So taking a look at the temperatures, our i7-12700K without any overclocking idled at 27 degrees and reached a maximum of 79 degrees during a 10 minute idle 64 stability test, which is very impressive. Okay, so that's us through to Mystic Light. We're on the motherboard tab and we have something plugged into 1, 2 and 3 of the ARGB headers, nothing plugged into the 12 volt header. So I'm just going to select all. If you want to change the effects of what you plugged into each of the headers individually, you can do that. And you'll see things are currently set to rainbow. I'm looking for a steady white, so we click on steady and we just need to type 255 in each of these boxes to get white. And then to change the lighting in the case, all we need to do is click on apply.